Jeremy Reynolds, I got a drink just for you because I showed you the alcohol menu for Geyser Point and, and then didn't I didn't get order anything. One. So this time I got a rum runner which has um, rum. It has a lot of rum <laughs> in it and a bunch of other flavors. I'll figure it out and whatever. But anyways, uh, alcoholic drink. You'll see it. Alrighty guys, we are at Boma, Flavors of Africa, and it's a buffet style um, restaurant. So we're gonna hit the buffet, grab some food. It's really good. They have excellent soups and meats and all kinds of other stuff. So just do this instead. I'm gonna grab some cornmeal. It's called Pap. It's a white, uh, creamy white cornmeal. Josh is trying to multitask here. Multitasking big time. I'm gonna go with the salmon. Uh, cannot miss this. This is excellent, excellent. It is running away from me. <laughs> All right, so up here we have the meats. The carving station. Um, right now it looks like they have uh, pork shoulder, turkey, and some type of beef. Uh, he's talking pork. to you. I don't want you any can respond to him. I didn't know he's talking to me. He wants beef. All right, I'm gonna try the roasted pork shoulder. Give me some pork shoulder, please. Piece? Yeah, that's fine. That's a big piece. Uh, that's the beef. How is your It's actually really good with the beef. Okay. And for you guys, would you like some beef? Yes, please. Alright. Right there, the wall for you on the plate for you, sir. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Thank you. Yes, Will you uh, scoop me some of that pesto? Yeah, one sec. There you are. Beef for you, sir. Some of this? Yeah, you on the beef? No, uh, that's fine. So that is a Mazi Mara. It's a Kenyan style pesto yeah, with enough? pecan and roasted red peppers. Cool. I'm gonna try this uh, Zulu cabbage. Just throw it on my plate right there. Oh yeah, that looks good. Good? More? Yeah, you can give me a little more. Okay. This is called serious multitasking, people. This is called Taylor doing it for him. Taylor's also getting some asparagus. Asparagus with paprika and olive oil. Oh man, here we are. We're, we are coming up on the soups. Go ahead. Uh, let's the see. The chicken here. corn chowder is not. Curried coconut seafood stew. Ooh, oh my gosh, looks, that looks. That looks really good. All these see, like these look really, really good. Um, what do you want? I'm gonna try the uh, the seafood stew first. Which is just, it just says seafood. It doesn't really say what seafood's in there. Right, Taylor's getting, getting the chicken, chicken corn chowder. Corn chowder. Right, Sunball cream based chicken and corn chowder. Taylor's gonna get me this. Hold on. Oh, it's like really soupy. Oh, did? I need some muscles. I wish I have. More? Yeah, just a little bit. That's good. Thank you. And my plate is fairly full, as you can see. So I'm gonna have to come back up for, oh yeah, I need a bread. Give me some of them bread rolls. Those French rolls right there, that'd be great. I'm in. One? Yeah, that's one, just stick it in the soup. Excellent. All right, so first plate's down. Soup and meats with some uh, cabbage. Looks really, really good. Oh. All right, and here we are. This is the, uh, I think this is like an African rum runner. And looks pretty good. 
So we'll try and see what it's like. How's that pork shoulder? Pretty good. How was the pesto on that steak? Good? Yeah, I highly recommend you get um, any of the meat up there is going to be good. I mean, we didn't get turkey. Everything was good. Oh, you got turkey? Yeah. Um, but the, uh, the beef and the pork shoulder is excellent. The beef with the pesto spread that I got on it is really good, too. How about your salmon? Excellent. Josh loves salmon. All right, Jeremy, so I've got the African Rum Runner. It is a refreshing combination of pink pigeon rum, blackberry brandy, and banana liqueur with orange and pineapple juice. Probably the furthest drink that I could drink from being a man. <laughs> but it's good. Really good. Well, here's Jillian's dessert. A couple things of dessert. A piece of butter <laughs> and a slab of meat. <laughs> Don't forget the rolls. <laughs> Look, there's a hidden Mickey. Oh my gosh, and it's so cute. <laughs> Jillian! You murdered Mickey! How you? you murdered Mickey! <laughs> Alrighty, guys, it looks like it's time for dessert. All right, so first is an apple cobbler. They have these guava panna cottas. They're disgusting, stay away from them. Zebra domes, those are gross, stay away from those. This is something with pistachios, so we're gonna try that. Somebody's beeping. They have uh, Oreo cheesecake tart. They have assorted mini cupcakes, and then uh, sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies. Uh, now one thing that is missing is the chocolate pudding. Chocolate bread pudding is missing. So this is what I've got. This is my dessert. It's very light. Here they come. Here they come. Booty is. These are technically called zebra domes, but my family likes to call them zebra balls. That's, but that's what they look like. And if you've been here before, they used to have chocolate bread pudding. It is now apple cobbler. However, it does still look really good. Literally every day of my life. It is not. That's a lie. We'll be driving down the highway and she goes, Stop! Slow down! You're going too fast. I'm going to miss the pokey stop. That's a hot trail. It is. I uh, can't catch this one. Alrighty, guys. So we are done eating here at Boma. And if you can see, the total for four people, 172. We had uh, I had an annual pass, but we also have a Visa card, so it was 10% off. They're both the same. So subtotal, and then after the tip. So pretty expensive for just four adults. I think it's definitely worth it. It's really, really good food. So good. Their service is excellent too. And uh, yeah, the service here is pretty good. I mean, I, every time you would be done. Since we booked this reservation, I have been waiting for the chicken corn chowder. It's so good. It's a little spicy. 